Let's go. Just start ourselves off, I guess. Bit of floor one, bit of floor one. This should be simple, even for the beginner account, I should think. Hopefully. Otherwise, I might have to start questioning everything, really. But anyway. Hurrah! Success! Let's keep moving on then. Floor 2. Stream now. Oh. Thank you, Safari. Oh wow, like, one erase has been holding up pretty well. Let's get some other shenanigans in. Hello everyone. Morning to you. Understandably, of course, this uh, this isn't going to last too long, just because uh, <laughs> Heavenly Tower is going to finish anyway. So let's best get a move on and and see where we go. It probably does mean that there's further we can get in reality to where we'll get today but then that does also allow us to um, rather excitingly progress a little further the next time we come to the heavenly tower because there'll be more to know and more to more time to find it out so yeah there we go we'll see how we do these initial floors anyway shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be too much of a bother they should be Absolutely fine, really. Boom. Floor four. We're crikeying right up the floors. Getting up them quick. Hi. Hello. Hello. Uh, I think the old strat of the uh, save up for the Valkyrie as soon as possible is a, is a sensible one. And here she comes. Nicely cleared path. Oh, legs has just done it anyway. Huh. That was refreshingly easy. Let's keep it that way. Boom. Boom once again. Realistically, it's possible to get to floor 20. Interesting. I definitely don't think we'll be doing that today, but who knows, right? Who knows? This will be a, a developing thing, but I'll try and keep my levels similar until we next see the, uh, the Heavenly Tower crop up. Don't you have Abrahamet? Oh, right, yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, we get we're getting these levels done decently quickly. And by the time I sort that all out, I could have just been doing the levels. We we could, you know, prioritize and uh, efficientize our strategy, but what I've kind of been learning is that sometimes um you can spend so long trying to optimize things that it, it would have just been a lot more simple to just do the thing and a lot more time saving as well. So yeah, that's that's why we're not we're not quite we're not sorting that out for ourselves. Also, it might need to be its own kind of recording opportunity to say, look, here's acquiring the Abrahamet, rah rah, because um, I don't believe I've done that yet. Okay, Metal Hippo, uh, we're just going to brute force it 
you shouldn't have too much health and plenty of crazed meat shields should kind of do the job that we need it to do feels a bit uh, novel beating heavenly tower stages let's just say that um, and there we go okay on the base pushed him back and we're done again and there we go you don't have to press one button I'd, I don't know how you think I'm going to get through all of the menus to get to a Bahamut's true format by pressing one button and back again. you got to think of the uh, the journey as well as the process itself. I'm sure if someone timed uh, timed getting a Bahamut and then coming back, it would be faster overall. But, you know, these, these floors are just going to get more difficult and we won't really be able to rely on a Bahamut because, I mean, I do that on the... The main one, but even by the time you reach like floor 10, it, it kind of becomes less useful and starts getting absolutely bashed about by Martin. And that was a pretty quick victory anyway. Okay. Oh, getting some items. Some, some actually useful items, which is nice for a change. Also, I, I don't know what kind of speed run you're operating on, but three seconds is... That's, that's just not true, um, as Ed Miliband once once said to Russell Brand. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, eight, nine, three. Good counting there. Oh, oh, it's the shy boys. Now the question is, do they seem as ridiculously weak on the beginner account as they do on the main account? Yes, yes they do. <laughs> that is incredible. They are so weak. <laughs> and there we go. There's another one done. Boom. Boom. Oh. Already run out of energy. We're just going to do a leadership. Get ourselves cracking on. Okay. You. You, you, you. Uh, I think we'll Valkyrie it again. It's not a very strong master, eh? Very walkable up to, so that's all fine. And there we go. Oh, Valk proc as well. It's our happy day. Look at that, there we go. Also, this is the first time that I'm doing these stages on the beginner account. There's a certain kind of event to it that I'd like to protect, you know? Rather than washing through them even more quickly. There we go. Okay. Boom. Boom, boom. Okay, i got to go. Have a nice time wherever you're off to. Floor 10. Double digits now. This is Martin territory, isn't it? So we might actually have to start trying here. <laughs> Floor 10 just suddenly, like, cranks it up in difficulty. He'll be fine. Oh, like Floor 21, really, I guess. Um, I think we might do Craze Bahamut here. That might work. That might work all right. See, Martin is just, yeah, undoubtedly quite strong. I don't think R.A. Bahamut would uh, would fare massively well. But with a stack and normal kind of meat shielding, it's looking alright. Look at that. There's a knockback on Martin. There's a lovely missed Bahamut shot. You know, not exactly a museum piece, that one. It's quite a regular occurrence. Oof. Go on, Bahamut. Go on. We need a shot from you. We need you to demonstrate that in your current form, you're just as beautiful as people think you can be. Nice. Although I don't know whether that was the dragon hitting it and then Bahamut missed. No idea. I actually can't really tell. Dragon's doing a great job by the look of it. Doing a nice old job. Then the massive party cellar boodle as well. Knocking us back. There's a lovely Bahamut shot and they're both gone. Fantastic. Yeah, as I suspected, as I suspected, 
Heavenly Tower, floor 10. Quite a lot more difficult than the ones before it. That's certainly borne out here as well as, uh, as well as on the main, where I actually have to start kind of thinking on a very, very little, little level on about what I'm doing. Uh, floor 11. Let's go. Planning to do Heavenly Tower on your main? Yep. I've, uh, I mean, not now, but I've, I've been doing that. That's been, that's been brewing. Don't you worry. Um, but I thought before it's out, let's just give this an attempt because at the very least it's gonna, it's gonna get us some beautiful items, and that's what we want really. So Nyandam this time, uh, we'll get our crazed whale out definitely. Any other stuff to chip away? Uh, chip away, chip away. Go and take your shot. Oh, nicely timed Valkyrie, I think. Nicely timed Valkyrie. Oh, and a proc. That's what we like to see. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Hoorah. And we'll uh, we'll cat cannon him when he's about to boff us like that. Fantastic. Look at that. Because this is going to be unique with a with a faster cat cannon going up Avenue Tower as well. Oh, no, and I'm just. <laughs> Isn't very strong. Oh yeah, because there's more. <laughs> I forgot about that. St that start bit of the battle usually goes so quickly. I probably forget about that. No, I'm done. Oh well. This bit shouldn't be too much trouble either. Uh, because, well, it's floor 11. Come on. We've got to 14% on Manic Mohawk. That's like, not bad. Oh, I was going to use Cat Cannon to delay the, uh, the old Santa head, but I kept clipping him anyway. And he's gone. He's absolutely gone. Right. Floor 12. Let's go. Bats. Bats, bats, bats. I haven't even got Maglev. I'm devastated. <laughs> I wonder how difficult that would be to do on the beginner account. Hanya. Probably, you know, very much out of, out of its ability range, but... Oh well. It, it would be great to have Maglev, wouldn't it? Um, right. The big chunky boy. See, Abraham it was good a, a, against this one, I do concede. But we'll just try and do this the normal way. The normal, sensible way. And we'll see. We'll see how we do, and what we do, and why we do. Yep. That's all alright. Not causing us too much trouble. Oh, nice freeze. Oh, look at that, and he's gone. So the cat cannon worked out really well. Oh, a bun bun, I forgot about that. <laughs> that should be fine. We've fought bun buns before, and Valkyrie seems to be on absolute procking form. Doing a great job. Damaging, knockbacking when she's not procking. I mean, she died that time, but by this point, we've got a lovely little stack brewing. And, uh,. I don't think we're going to run into too much trouble. I mean, not the ideal number of meat shields to be dealing with the bun bun with, but look, it's all fine. It's all good. Look at us go, Bahama. Nice shot. Push them all back. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Get another Valkin. Nice. Nice stuff. Go on then. Go on then, lad. Oh. Yep, yeah, we're still alive. A little bit chunkier than what we've seen before, but manageable. Certainly manageable. Where are you in story mode on this account? Yeah, kind of Cats of the Cosmos 1, although I, I'm not starting it like I... I yeah, I'm not going to be able to finish it, so there's kind of no, no point really starting it. There's not much for me to gain, given the treasures against starred aliens that... We're not going to see for a long time in the beginner account. We're still in the kind of earlier added bits of, of Battle Cats that we're searching through. So no real need to have a go at Cats of the Cosmos. So I kind of call it done into the future. Um, and, and just sort of taking a deliberate kind of stop there. Right, come on then. When are you going to peel away and, and be gone? Now. Oh, cheers. Okay. That worked out alright, didn't it? Nice. Not too much of a worry. Floor 14 might be where we uh, might be where we struggle. Just a little bit. But for now, 
floor 13. And I don't know whether it'd be wise to... Hmm. Let's do that. Why not? Get the triple in. It's probably worth it. Okay. Cat type of... Oh, I don't know if I already cat yet. Goodness me. None of that. None of that. Ooh, our UFO might actually be pretty useful here. Look. <laughs> I blast through these floors so quickly, usually, that I can't really remember what's in it. Uh, so I don't know what these Dark Doges actually herald for us. But it should be exciting, whatever it is. Okay. Looks like we're not gonna we're not gonna lure and stall. That's for that's for boring people. <laughs> We're just going to go in gung-ho, or heck, yeah. Okay, lots of reds. And now I don't have my, my craze whale. Great strategic choice from myself there. Oh, well. We've got the Aurora now. Then we just need to probably Bahama. Would be, would be sensible. Or, as soon as we can afford it, we'll just put that Valkyrie out now. Because I don't know if my monies are just going to continue to dip. And we could do with a freezing on that boy there. It is useful to do. Look at that. Oh, lovely. Thank you, Aurora. Very much needed, because these one horns are pretty strong. Pretty, very strong. Boom, boom. <laughs> a little bit of uh, several knockbacks at once. Oh, and there we go. Absolutely beautiful. Also got Bahama in just before getting extra money, so that's all sorted out. Ah, yes, this was the bit I remember of Floor 13. So that's quite intriguing how insignificant those one horns usually seem. It's probably because the strat that I use has, like, Luxury Bath in it with very massive damage. <laughs> massive damage against uh, against Red. So that's, that's probably why we haven't previously noticed it, but still... Not too much of a bother on here. And and actually, without a Bahamut there, this Gory is kind of easier to deal with on this account here. Like, dealing with it this way seems a lot more sensible. There we go. Bridegroom Gory. Gone. Fantastic. Here we are. Fantastic. Okay. Huh. It's not offering me that ad. That's uh, interesting. Probably got more energy than the, the percentage threshold. So I could spend a little bit of energy. And then watch an ad. That would work better, wouldn't it? What doesn't cost much energy? Hmm. I kind of want to... <laughs> yeah. That might be alright. Do you have Bomber on this account? No, unfortunately not. I was uh, not around at the requisite time yesterday to uh, to get Bomber. Um, not that we're going to like make it to floor 24. <laughs> but I understand it would probably be needed before then. Um... But yeah, we'll, you know, we'll muddle through. We'll see what happens. You should make a bomber cat guide. Oh, I plan to. It just probably won't be structured in, in a in a series format because we're doing the manics is just unrealistic. And like the next bit of stories of legend we need to get to is cat dam and I'm not being given rich cats by anything. Did the last one, did the first one, nothing. Well, cheers very much. Uh, and there we go. There's the energy recovery ad. 122 energy back, which will be enough. Thank you. Uh, let's... Oh, no. Okay. OBS is like, I don't think I will. Come on. It's, it's like no, basically. Could we be like yes?
We're not we're not watching an ad on stream, but I can't turn the screen off. I'm gonna have to force quit the stream and start again. Just a second. Right, we're um we're nearly there on the ad. That's not the symbol I need. I need the cross. Go away ad. No, I really don't want you to try and scam me of your stupid ad, thank you very much. I don't care. Go away. Thank you. Right, okay, we're back. Hello, everyone. We are back. 122 energy recovered. Let's... Uh, probably want lots of meat shields, I imagine. A ruin is not effective against metal. So they're probably not useful. Let's see what does. Critical hits. Oh yeah, we've got Island Cat. Okay. <laughs> we'll put Monaco in there, why not? We'll try not to uh, use Gacha yet. I feel like Crazed Legs might be useful for getting that one damage like back a few units. If you get my drift. Uh, but other than that... Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. It could be exciting. Floor 14, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Things start off pretty quick. I wonder... If we put a rich and a CPU on to get everything spammed. Because we might need that. Let's see. Let's see. Good old rich start off. Uh, I don't know whether we, we try and rush it or not. <laughs> Basically. I think we'll have to see. Start off with uh, with only a few meat shields, you know. Keep it sensible. So it's not too ridiculous. Hopefully then we can build up some monies. Oh, oof. Flipping oof. <laughs> it gets very difficult very quick, doesn't it? Alright. Good old Henley Tower. Right. Spam it. Spam him. The Super Metal Hippo is here. We are fighting a Super Metal Hippo on the beginner account. I mean, it's been done. It's been done previously on Crazed Fish, which isn't a too difficult level, so... Who knows? But we also have a, a Metal One Horn to contend with, which is not quite so great. But the stack's holding up. It's holding up decently, you know. It's a bit alright, actually. I mean, it probably will be until we get absolutely no critical hits and just get mashed by this horrendous clump of things. Goodness gracious me. Wow. Wowee. Oh, there was, there was a critical hit. Oh, there's another critical hit. <laughs> Are we going to hold out? No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. Oh, come on.
Water plants, flipping out. We don't have custom bases. Um, no, none of that. Come on, where's flipping? Thankfully, these are continue stages. Right. Maybe we, we rush it with crit hitters um, so that we can kill these ones at the start and get some monies off of that. Because, of course, if we don't kill them, they'll just stick around for everything else, making the battle harder and giving us no monies. So it's probably all very well saving up, but that's not what we want. Oh, crit hit from Monaco. Thank you, Monaco. Hurrah, finally. So we're clearly not getting many monies from them. So it's, it's really just going to be about reducing the workload that we get. And building up some kind of stack, I guess. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see. The CPU's handling it decently well. We just kind of need uh, need a bit of RNG on our side, basically. We'll probably be stuck on this a while, but I wonder whether I can, when I end the stream, I just pause it and come back to the stage. Hopefully, it'll remember it, and then we can try it until the RNG goes our way. Because at the moment it's not going our way. Need a crit hit from someone please. Yep, that's useful. That's a bit more like it. Jewel Islands of course being being useful. I mean it's not actually Jewel Islands because flipping out Manic, Manic Islands uh, a little while away. Come on. Come on. Nice. That's a good credit. We're flush with cash. We got plenty money. We got a decent stack going. And the bigger our stack, the more crit hits we're likely to get. So unless we're very unlucky at this point, we should be golden. Although, you know, it's probably looking like a smaller stack of metals because they're all in exactly the same place. It's a bit of a lethal stack, is what it is. But look. Look at that. I think the CPU was a sensible choice. Rich Cat was probably definitely needed, given how quickly the level starts off. Look at that. Look at that. Bit of success. Nice. Whoa, hey. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Pretty good, don't you think? Look at that. No gacha. No gacha. But much success. <laughs> no gacha, much success. That's the mantra. That's what we're going to carry forward. Look at the amount of space cats we have now. Crikey. That's lovely. That's very nice. And we hit the deploy limit. Because we are the champions. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that. Savor that, ladies and gentlemen. Drink that in. <laughs> We've done quite well. We've done all right. Oh, heck yeah. Very nice. Fantastic. The sound of success. Oh, heck. Very nice indeed. I'm tempted to kind of stop it there. Because, you know, some people thought we wouldn't get floor 14 done. And we did. And I'm probably just going to lose on floor 15. And use a leadership that I won't be able to make the most of. Hmm. Took you almost 20 plus tries with almost the same loadout. Oh, rip. Sorry to hear that. What do we think? What do we think? I think... I think I might hold you in suspense. I could be done. <laughs> could I could hold you in suspense. Because I feel like we've hit a milestone and, 
you know, if we can beat floor 15, we can probably beat floor 16. So that could be like another another kind of milestone to try and get towards like floor, I don't know, 18 or whatever. I think what we'll do is we'll hold you in suspense until later and create a new adventure so that we can call this adventure a success. This has gone very nicely. Very nicely well. Nice little successful little journey that we've done. Hooray. Uh, and we'll, when we next see Heavenly Tower, we'll use a bit more of the Heavenly Tower time, hopefully, to um, try and climb up them floors, get further. So I hope that uh, you'll be excited for then. And I guess we'll bid goodbye to Heavenly Tower now. Sorry that we couldn't do uh, more. But yeah, that'll do. Thank you everyone for coming along. And I'll see you later. Goodness knows uh, what OBS is doing. I don't know. But we'll just have to force quit to end the stream. GG indeed. Thanks for coming along, guys. Bye.